I want to talk about some of the woke stuff that they'll highlight too, uh, Christy. And uh, when it comes to local government, Victoria keeps putting up some great examples. Let's look at the Yarra Council and their new policy on flags. They're, 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 they're flying a vast array of flags, anything but the Australian flag, it seems. Uh, the, the council policy now says the following flags are flown on our civic flag poles throughout the year. The aromantic flag, that's for people who are not interested in sex, apparently. The asexual flag, the bisexual flag. The Brisbane Lions footy club, fair enough. Collingwood footy club. Uh, the Eureka flag. The flag of the Sahari Arab Re Democratic Republic, apparently a country that isn't officially recognised. The flag of the international campaign to abolish nuclear weapons. The intersex flag, intersex inclusive pride flag, the lesbian pride flag, the morning star flag, the non-binary flag fly uh, pride flag i mean what's going on in your part of the world christy what's wrong with the australian flag <laughs> and maybe the indigenous flag too what is wrong with those two flags that encapsulate everybody who's come here and everybody who was here before those who came here that call Australia home uh, in the great multicultural country that we have? There is absolutely nothing wrong with sticking to the Australian flag and the Indigenous flag. The city of Yarra, Chris, as you know, uh, was once the only green-controlled local government in Melbourne not too long ago. I believe it's gone back to a split just slightly weighted in Labor favour. They have a net zero policy which includes not driving on the road uh, and for all small businesses to be powered by solar. Uh, if you want to see the absolute largesse and waste of money in our three-layered system of government at a time where we're looking at having more MPs to be more over-governed, we could start with some of the local governments and some of the ridiculous efforts that they come up to, particularly the city of Yarra here in Melbourne. Yes, yeah, spot on. And for those people not au fait with AFL, the reason the Brisbane Footy Club would be listed there is because it, it, of course, stems from the Fitzroy Footy Club originally. So the, the local clubs there are the Collingwood Footy Club and, and the Brisbane Footy Club uh, stemming from the Fitzroy Lions. Uh, I think the most offensive flag in that whole lineup, of course, is the Collingwood Footy Club, but we'll leave that one for another day. Uh, I, Katie, I, I've got to get your thoughts on this, especially what you think your listeners will think of this. And that is news that Australia Post will get rid of daily mail deliveries. Now, the postie in the future might only come every second or third day. Um, it's kind of understandable mm. given how little snail mail we have, but a lot of people probably rely on it coming every day. What do you reckon? Yeah, I don't know. I originally thought that, but then I thought to myself, well, um, you know, I don't know that people are getting mail delivered as frequently as what as what they once did. My concern here is that Aussies are going to be losing their jobs, and that's that's the worry that I've got, is that I don't want people working for Australia Post to lose their jobs. You do want to make sure that we are still able to maintain that service, but I can understand why they are having to make some operational changes if it's sort of no longer viable and, and if there isn't that mail to deliver each and every day, I guess you've got to start to do things a little bit differently. But I would imagine that some of our older, um, some of their older customers may find that a little bit disruptive to their lives or, or maybe not be so happy. I don't think they'll lose jobs all up because all the efforts going into parcel delivery now and all our online shopping. The, the last time I got an important piece of mail, it was for me to turn up in court the day before. So that's how useful the mail was for me on that occasion. <laughs> we are all out of time. Thanks so much for joining us, Christy and Katie. Catch up with you next time.